the Doomsday Project, a detailed picture of Britain with the help of thousands of children. Hello again. After two years' work by a million people, the Doomsday Project has finally been completed. It's the first thorough survey of Britain for 900 years. Information from every part of the country, much of it collected by schoolchildren, has been put onto a special video disc system. The organisers say it's a record for the future of what life in Britain was like in 1986. Today the discs went on show for the first time. Roger Finn reports. The first survey of Britain was the Doomsday Book, made in 1086. Two years ago, schoolchildren from 14,000 schools helped to collect information about their local areas for the second Doomsday Project. It was all put onto video discs to be played on a computer system specially invented for the project. Mike Tibbet, the project's assistant editor, showed how the system lets people track down whatever they want, including the information collected by schoolchildren. Let's have a look at some of that now. For example, if I zoom into southern Britain here and then go up to Lancaster, uh, we keep on going, zooming into larger and larger scale maps. And if I go into somewhere in the northwest, I just chose that area because I noticed there's a, a place here called Craven View. But the main towns are Arkholm and Melling. And we can see photographs of this area taken by the local school. This is one of three photographs of views. And these are in addition to quite a lot of text which they've also written, again, on subjects that they've chosen, describing their life and times, including things, for example, like um, children's interest in 1985, which is expressed very much in the local children's own words. I like riding my BMX bike. In winter, we like to sledge on till bags, build snowmen and have snowball fights. All sorts of statistical information is also stored on the discs. And there are extracts from news programmes, including this report on the first London Marathon. There are 24,000 maps and tens of millions of bits of information. It would take seven years to see everything on the discs. They could be used by schools, public libraries and perhaps by businesses too. It's not just the Doomsday Project that's being launched today, but a whole new way of getting information. This special disc and the computers that read it could be seen as the first books made for the libraries of the future.